Hi girls. Right, <coughs> what we're going to do is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous flower. And it's a tiger lily. Uh, so I'm just getting the bits. What you're going to need, you're going to need some blue dyes, some blue inks. Two preferably, one lighter than the other. Some scissors, a white pen, or pencil should I say. Some of these little spray, uh, the um, antennae things. Oh, you know what they're called. And I've got some colours here that I can use if I want. Um, I think I'm going to use that one anyway. I might not use them yet. Um, I'll just see how we get on. Uh, and then what you're going to do is to get some paper. Um, I'm just using some... It's thick cardstock. That's what you need is some uh, pretty thick cardstock. And you need to cut yourself six strips. And then um, cut them about probably an inch and a half wide. I will measure them for you. Oh, sorry. What if I got it right? No, sorry. Two inch wide. Just cut six of those. About two inches wide. Like that. That'll do. You're going to cut most of it off anyway. Fold them in half. So just fold all of them in half like that. The first one you're going to cut, you could use as your template so they're all the same size. But in this case, you don't need to do that. These flowers uh, do not need to be the same size, the petals I mean. I must keep my eye on the time as well. Right, <coughs> just make sure they're level at the bottom. Like that. And what you can do is you can just cut yourself like a leaf, like a serrated edge leaf. So start at the bottom and just with little scissors like that. Because that gives you your shape. Like that. Okay. These could be a little bit longer actually. They are. Um, but this one I've done at the moment isn't. But it doesn't matter. Um, like I say, make sure you start the same. And that's all you're doing. Like that. Okay. And like I said, they don't have to be perfect. Make sure they're level to start with. It's better if they're not all identical because you get a, a nice look with your flower. You may wish to turn them the other way around, it doesn't matter. Like that. Now what you're going to do, turn them all upside down and you're going to just put that there now, don't need that, don't need that. And you're going to ink them. Use your lightest colour first. Okay, now I'm going to have that one as my top and that one as the bottom. So you only have to do where your finger is, up to where your finger is. Turn it over and do that and leave it like that. Just going to trim that one a little bit, not keen on that shape. There we go. Much better. I'm going to use that as the top. Like that. And just give it a really quick go. Just turn that over so I've got it the right way. I'm going to do that one. And so you don't need to go down to the bottom at all. Take your darker colour. Oh, missed one. Sorry, sorry. 
That was one shot. <coughs> so, oh, now what have I done? Oh, sugar. <laughs> I think that's that one. Yes. Nearly got the lids mixed up then. Yes. Faded jeans. Then what you're going to do is uh, take something smaller. I've got one here. And then just do that up the centre. Like that. That's all you do. Really good thickness on the centre, you know, quite dark. Like that. And then what you need to do, take your little box, pop your flowers in, your petals, like that. Take your water and just spray them. And them two colours will then blend themselves together. And then take your tweezers, try and keep the water, the liquid on them. Oops. Doesn't matter if it runs a bit at all. Pop that there. Heat gun. And dry them. Now it's going to take me a while to do this, so I'll come back. Now what we're going to do is I've got a little bit of a foam padding. And you're going to take a petal... I've already done that one, I don't want to do any more to it. Take your petal and just go around the edges with a stylus, which breaks up the fibres. Do the sides first, and you'll start to see creases come in. And then just move it up and down across the top, uh, across the uh, full length of the petal. And it really does break those fibres up. You need to do, put some, quite a bit of pressure on it, but it gives you like a petal shape. Don't worry about it because they're going to be bent back like that. Okay. It really does break the fibres up quickly. Like that. Sorry if you're not seeing, I'm just breaking the fibre up. Makes them a lot more. This way you use thick card to get that um, flexibility in them when you've done them. I'm just going to trim this one down a little bit. last one. And you see how the colour's dried? You're going to need that. That's what helps your flower when you've finished colouring it in because you've not finished yet. Right, take all of those from there, move your pad and then what you're going to do is see what size we've got here just going to chop that one a little bit. Like that. Just a little bit too wide. Fine. I'm fine with that. Now what I'm going to do is just to match up the colours a little bit using the Copic markers. And what you do is you take hold of your petal, pop your finger on it there, draw a line at the middle and then you flick it
，完了。Again, straight at the middle. Like a feather. Looks more feathery. And that's all you do. Okay. Then you take your blue again. And what you're going to do is just to blend that in. You just go over it again like that. It just takes the sharpness off from the colour you've just done. Oops. From the colour you've just done. And you need the dark colour. It doesn't matter. So you just brush that like that and you've got what you need in there. Oops. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to have a drink. What time are we on? Oh, two minutes. Got All right. Oh, nice cup of coffee. Right. Then you need a piece of vet card. I haven't got a circle. I've got a circle punch, but it's... Uh, I can't be bothered getting it, to be honest. <laughs> it's just as quick to do it by hand for me. There we go, cut a circle out. And what you're going to do then is start to pop these onto there. Oh, sorry, no you're not. forgot the white pencil then. Right, what you're going to do is just get the white pencil and do like a, you know, just lines all the way around like that. And it blends that in. Like that. And you need to do that with all of them. So I'll come back in a minute. Right. Oh, sorry. I'm not sure if we're filming right. Now that we've got that done, you need to start and put them on. So, tiger lilies have got... Uh, they're, they're like in three petals to start with. So we'll do them like that. Okay, <coughs> excuse me, and then pop these like that. And they don't have to be perfect at all. And these are so quick and easy to make. Right, now just let that set, just let that glue set a minute. And while it's setting, hold it in the middle, take your stylus pen and wrap that under like that just to give it a bit of shape they're not perfectly dry at the moment but you can do this again when they're dry because you're going to wet them again in a minute with the shimmer or whatever it is you're going to put on this is just to start them off and give them a shape now I'm not sure but yes, I might just use this, actually. So I'm using a 3D glitter gel. So what you're going to do now is, I've taken my 3D glitter gel, and you can use anything. I, on the others, I used this one, which was a Tattered Angel Glam paint. Uh, but I'm just using that on this one for now. Uh, just paint it on. Okay. Now you could do this on um, these flowers later because you've got one more thing. You've got the middles to put in yet. 
Um, so you could either put the middles in first and then paint it or do it this way. At the moment I'm just going to do it this way. And dry this off a little bit. Okay, so when you've done that, more or less dry now because that stuff dries instantly. You need a centre. Now I've got these little, um, there were little pearly flowers, and then what I've done is I've stuck a pearl in the middle. And I'm just going to pop this in the middle, like that. And then take some of the stamen, so I've just got some cut ready. And all you do with these is fold them in half and cut them. You will need long and short stamen for this flower. So I'm just going to uh, take some of these out. You need quite a few, so just like I say, Fold them in half. I've done. S I get so many together and then just cut them. Chop the end off. That's all you need. And then what you do is take your glue, pop a little bit on the end, right on the end of your stamen, and then, whoops. Now why did that do that? That was not quite. Let me just wait a minute. Pop that on there. You don't want to waste that. Hold it up till it dries. It doesn't matter if it falls. You need some laying down and you need some of these stood up. Let's try this again. I've not left it long enough to dry, I don't think. What are we on to? Four minutes, right, we've got time to do this. And like I say, just pop some glue onto the end and pop it in. Work your way around the flower, leaving a gap between them. Pop it underneath the uh, flower at the centre. Like that. Like, put them in between all the time. Let me just see them all right for a minute or two. Like that. that would be stood up right, but they they need to be stood a fair way. And I use the shorter ones for this. Like that. Oh, no, he <laughs> did the wrong end then. Spin it round and put them where you think you need one. Twenty two seconds. I'm coming back because we've got some uh, something else to do to it. Right, all I'm doing now is I've just put that uh, dip my brush in the uh, glam uh, what is it called? The Tattered Angels Glam or oh, glitter paint. Like that. Popped it on the ends, about halfway down the flower. Put the lid on before I spill it. Um, pick your flower up by the stamen. And just shake some of these clear glitter onto it. And there you go. You've got your lily. You need to bet when it's dry fully, then you bend the, the petals a little bit more. But aren't they stunning? Make your own. Easy. And they really do look gorgeous. That on an oriental tag, or just in a flower display. They're absolutely gorgeous. Oh, please, please, if you make them, let's see them. You could put your leaves on these, but uh, I'm not going to. Not right now. And if you've not already seen our videos um, 
the funny ones that we've been putting up lately, go over to Wicked Glen One and look up um, the videos. It's a parcel I sent to Glenda this week. Uh, well, sorry, she got it this week, and a parcel that uh, Chris, that's uh, ScrappingIdea.com, sent to Chris. They are hilarious. There's four videos in all, two on mine and two on hers, and it's absolutely hilarious. And we want to know if you have any questions for us, please, please email one of us, either Chris at a scrappingidea.com or Glenda at wikiglenda uh, well, wiki one or myself, you know I am, uh, and let us have your questions and we'll read them out. It's all in fun. Come on. Come along and let's have a go. Thanks for watching. Bye.